everybody! We're back! And it's a new state of play for PlayStation. And this one's actually, I think, I think they said they're focusing on FF16, which is a game I actually am looking forward to, so... I might actually be excited about it. We'll see what we, uh, what we get out of it. I honestly have no idea what could be in this other than that. They've said that it focuses on that. I haven't actually seen if they even announced, like, a, a time for it, though. I have, uh, no idea. Where is my... Oh, there's my mic. Okay. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if they've, uh, <clears throat> announced the time for, like, how long this is. But, uh, you know, we will see. I'm not really, like I said, I'm not really sure what else they can really put out in this one. Uh, the only rumors that I've heard about is about, like, this hardware that they supposedly are making, which is, like, some sort of cloud streaming handheld device that they've been talking about. But there's no way that they would just throw that haphazardly into the at a random state of play. They, they would, like, have their own event for that, I think. Mmm, delicious water. But yeah, I have no idea. It's probably going to be a lot of stuff that's coming out in summer. I wonder if we'll see Pacific Drive. That might be fun. That looks like an interesting game. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, I have no idea what else they they could uh, pack into this. Because I'm assuming that it'll probably be like their standard 40-ish minutes. And uh, they got to fill that with something other than the 20 minutes that they said they'd have of FF16. So, yeah. Hopefully, we get something cool out of it. I always want there to be a one more thing. I will always pop off for a one more thing, even if it's not something I really care about. I'm always happy for one more thing. I don't think they're going to have it in a random state of play in April, but they might. And that is the hope that's keeping me alive. Uh, so I invited some people to do this with me like normal, but uh, I don't know. I think it might just be me flying, flying solo today. Uh, we shall see. But yeah, uh, at some point, people might show up. I'm not sure. And like I said, the only thing I re I know to expect from this is FF16. There's, from what I can tell, not really been any like rumor drops lately, except for the big Persona 3 thing. But that I still think that's probably a 2024, if it's even, you know, in development. 2024 at the earliest, if I had to guess, because that. That bit that was shown was really early and using stock assets and came out in 2021. So 2024 is probably the earliest you can even hope for it. And then I figured I wanted to stream 14 again today. So, yeah, we'll just be rolling right into that. I'll just have to remember to cut my recording on my local side and split those two out. Four minutes. All right, how do we vamp for four minutes, guys? Oh, Actually, there is something kind of interesting. I've uh, figured a way to make it a little more likely that I will be able to play uh, 
uh, Persona 3 FES on the PS3. I've, I've figured a way with a little th hardware thing that you can actually record off of PS3, so I, I got one of those. I have not run tests with it yet, so... Maybe look forward to Persona 3 FES in the future? I don't know. Maybe? Possibly? I'm not entirely certain. We'll have to see. And, uh, yeah, oh, I mean, let's see. Was, was there any other PS3 games I really wanted, or is that the only thing that's sitting locked to the PS3? Now watch, just out of nowhere, they're going to announce backwards compatibility for PS3 on the PS5 in this Direct. And I'm going to have a massive amount of egg all over my face and be out $16 or however much this thing was. I'm going to be so upset if that happens. It won't, but I'm going to be very upset. Three minutes! And give people one last little reminder. They can jump in. I'd be so happy if Jet Set Radio just showed up here out of nowhere. Although that's even like earlier in development, so from what I can tell. It's super fun. It's fun when you get stupid good leaks like P3 remake. And then they register like a domain name for it, like a month ahead of that leak. I swear to God, if that shows up, I might shit my pants. Even though I don't wear pants. Hmm. Wet my eye socket. <laughs> I kinda like this music, though. It's very nice and soothing. Kind of loud though. I kind of wish it would, like, it's loud in my headphones because I have uh, the audio split out so I can control it going through the stream. But in my headphones, it's actually really, really loud. I just, I just made sure to turn it down for you guys. there 15 all right let's see it got to open with something big right in theory <laughs> or just your little opening sizzle reel Oh! Oh yeah, <laughs> there he is, it's Yoshi P. Never mind, we're just going right into FF16. Today, I'm here to talk a little bit about the story, world, and combat system of Final Fantasy 16. Oh wait, is this just FF16? I was under an impression this was more of a general direct. Similar to that Suicide Squad one that they just had. I don't know, I'll have, I'll have fun with it. Mr. American Man, Clive. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. 
Focus, Wyvern. You're not allowed to take what the actual Shiva. Yes, Sergeant. Oh, we got a little live demo here? I said focus, Wyvern. Uh, I what if the game let me? Come on now. There we go. And, okay, Always never mind. Retail. Allow me to welcome you to the world of Final Fantasy 16. Final Fantasy 16 is the latest installment in the Final Fantasy series, a storied franchise with 35 years of history. Yeah, oh, while nice. this is the 16th mainline title in the series, there's absolutely no need to have played any of the previous games before jumping in. That does not with help with my OCD. <laughs> you can RPG say that as much as you want. Final Fantasy 16 has been developed as the first true action RPG in the series. Yeah, I know, with the Using DMC the combat designer. Five to its fullest, the game delivers an expansive, thrilling gameplay experience which we liken to a high-speed roller coaster ride. I, for one, am pretty hyped. Um, this was in that demo that they were releasing to people, if I remember correctly. That, uh, Garuda fight. This looks new, though. Man, the stream quality coming in is not very good. I'm sorry, guys. That's a pretty sick Titan, I will say. It's a pretty sick design. He's got like a weird earth the tentacles. The protagonist of our story is Clive Rossfield, and his journey... Clive Rossfield. We follow the epic tale of Clive, shield of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, as it unfolds across three distinct periods in our hero's life, his teens, twenties, and thirties. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, fuck that guy. <laughs> Goodbye, asshole captain. Now the story begins with Clive in his 20s. A fully playable flashback will allow you to experience the pivotal events that shaped his past and present. And thus does the curtain open on this newest Final Fantasy adventure. Okay, so that was your opening was him, like, going, Hey, captain, how's it going? Okay. And this is like the actual first substantial section of the game. When you get to watch your brother die in your arms or something. I think someone did actually leak that this game would take place over like multiple periods of time and have like time jumps. Oh sick, my favorite, a menu. Navigation in Final Fantasy 16 is driven via a world map with locations being added and updated as players progress through the main Are map. those fast travel points? Please, yes. Thank God. The world map can be opened at any time, allowing players access to all manner of locations across Valisthea. Here, players will meet new friends, encounter formidable and these foes, backgrounds look and really good. great and wondrous mysteries. All these I like the look of that forest. I don't know why. That's also a crazy mountain. That's probably not a mountain.
Oh, chocobo riding! Yo! Yo! It's back! The weird chickens are back. Thank God. I'm pretty sure that one bull thing was, like, ripped straight out of 14. Man, some of these assets are like, yeah, we just we just had them in 14, so we up them and threw them in this. Next, I'd like to talk about the combat of Final Fantasy 16. All the battles in the game take place in real time and are not turn-based. Sick. As Clive Finally. progresses through the story, he will learn a wide array of exciting abilities from the icons that he encounters. Now, let's take a moment to admire Clive in action. Just go, yeah, give me that Devil May Cry beam footage, baby. Roll that beautiful TMC footage. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks so good. This game just looks like it's actually fun to sit there and play. Also, they seem to be focusing a lot on Shiva in this. So I'm pretty sure that's what this ice magic is. The one thing that I hope is that the enemies aren't actually too spongy. Because that will just get annoying. That'll make combat annoying. I mean, it's fun if you know how to style, but... I don't know how to style, so... Like, I can't vary the combat enough to make that interesting. Against big spongy enemies. Oh my god, is that just the judgment cut? Was that just stripped straight from Virgil? <laughs> Oh my god, it even looks like he's devil triggering right there! Cause he's got the wings! He is- he just did his devil trigger! The abilities that Jesus Christ! Have unique characteristics this game couldn't be any more DMC- Oh my god, that is just straight up the DMC, like, uh, training area where they're doing that. Where they're doing those little demos. Oh my god. It is- it is so blatant. Oh Can my goodness. Iconic ability to unlock or upgrade? No problem. You can let the game choose for you. Wait, no, wait, the game can just auto pick your roles? Why would you want that? The game includes a range of timely accessories to provide support to those players who may not be so skilled at action games. Oh yeah, I remember them enjoyable talking about the timely players stuff. Players are encouraged to equip Clive with different combinations of these accessories until they find the one that perfectly matches their own playstyle. Yeah, the only problem with doing that is, though, is that they take up an actual I ring slot. Particularly recommend to those who may struggle is, with hold on, is, play, is the ring of time is that Tigrex? Timely strikes. Tigrex, what are you doing in here? To uh, oh no, my God, no, that that is just Tigrex. Wow. As well as wow, that is. Slow motion they are grabbing so many attack. things from other <laughs> games. It's weird. Let me just fight the enemy Tigrex here. Alternatively, players could equip an accessory that fully automates evasion. As I said before, oh, that's I really silly. Encourage everyone to discover the combination that works best for them. That is so silly. Why would you? Why would you do that? That effectively makes you invincible. I don't know why you would allow people to just have that. And for those who want to concentrate on the story, don't forget to choose mm -hmm. story focus mode before starting a new game. Oh, <laughs> story difficulty, baby. In this mode, timely accessories are automatically equipped from the start, allowing <laughs> players to immerse are. themselves in the narrative experience without having to worry too much with the action. Wait, is that your two difficulties?
Hopefully this game's gonna release with performance mode before, we'll like, at launch, unlike uh, some games. <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry. He drinks some water. These are fallen ruins. <laughs> well, mm, delicious. But how do you survive without magic? What, who is? Sidolphus, who becomes a mentor to Clive. So, oh my God, Sidolphus, <laughs> of course. Jill. So that's the most old-timey kind of name that you can start with, Sid. And reunions will set Clive on a path of great personal growth. Jeez. As he grows the baby that he put inside her in his teens. I assume. Some of these companions will even accompany Clive on his adventures, fighting alongside him and finding lots to talk about. Midnight Raven? That dude's that name said, is way too cool only need to for being just a random knight. Clive. Party members are fully AI driven, providing support for the hero and constantly adapting and responding to his actions. But if I remember correctly, you can't command them at all, which is unfortunate. Why are they beating up on that poor panther? That's just like, it's. How come every shot of this enemy is just it sitting on its back like ah ah That's a pretty sick Shiva. I like how she's only wearing a small bit of cloth that goes gently around her boobs and nowhere else. How is it being held up? Fucking magic, man. I don't know. Strong and fiercely loyal hound. Torgal is always by Clive's side. Torgal. to stand by him in the face of whatever cruel fate. Show me you can pet the dog. Torgal will ask Show me. his own accord. But players Show it can to also me. give him direct commands. Oh hey, your your lady friend is uh, like Just an actual. Don't forget uh, to give this good boy some. Okay, so you can feed him. You can feed him. You're halfway there. You're halfway there. Better upstairs. How dare they? But none will. Don't fret about Karen. I've oh my god, it's just Hodor. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You have nothing to worry about. Go. Have a look around. I'll be in my solo. After progressing somewhat through the game, Clive will gain access to Sid's hideaway. Hide, hide, hide away. Why do I have this feeling that Sid's going to turn into a villain? Clive will find a shop where yes. he can purchase new weapons, armor, and consumables. It's hard to God if I call that now, I'm going to be upset. It's just something with his voice, mostly. His voice is very, very deep. skilled blacksmith works the hideaway's forge, bring in materials to craft new gear or upgrade existing items. Okay, so you can make new stuff. Okay. equipment or unlocking new abilities, try accessing the Arete Stone. Oh, of, co of course, in a game like this, you have to have a training Here, mode. Players can enter a virtual Although this is a different place than where they were showing, like, the little demos for your abilities. To refine and practice combos of their very own. Ooh, ooh, it's pretty extensive, too. Confident in your skills, and you can, try your do, you can choose arcade. enemies, too. See how your scores stack up against players from around the world. Can you choose, like, gangs of enemies, or can you just use the one? The hideaway is home to a lot of other features as well. Not Carol. only will players discover a variety of side quests here, but they can also view information on quests offered all around Valistia. Can I have a date with you, Elaine? Who are you, ma'am? All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Why is Ashley from RE4 speaking with a British accent to me? Wow, that was a long ponytail. How did you get back? <laughs> I only just saw that. Also, I didn't catch her name. Oh, it's just a straight up Moogle. It's just Moogle right there. There you go. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Am I the only person who can see the Moogles? So is everyone just like, yeah, those dudes just kind of hang out and float for a bit? They'll be fine. 
visit the hunt board to gain information on elite marks fearsome foes lurking about the realm the, in desperate the hunt need of board? the moogle will be your guide they just brought that from 14. Are they gonna show off a hunt? I assume it's just... Wow, that is a 14 enemy. That, I'm pretty sure that's just the model they brought. One of the models for 14. There's also Lorsman Harpocrates. I kind of keep saying everything's from 14, even though I'm almost certain these are just from other... FF4. Oh, that's neat. Quite the find for you today. I do like the little little sprite work there. That's cool. You wish to study. Wait, I keep bones. saying that everything's a 14 enemy, but I'm pretty sure they're from previous FFs, and I have not played Here most of them. Of my so. lectures. And Vivian Ninetales, a scholar and strategist who will Here's be more than happy to now. explain to Clive the current state of the realm and provide information on key players. There are all kinds of interactions and oh features. Oh my goodness, the political intrigue. Players get even more enjoyment out of their time with Final Fantasy 16. I wonder how much the political intrigue board is actually going to matter. Or if it's just, okay, here's just what's going on in the story. No, the goblin! On his travels, Clive oh. will encounter a wide array of fearsome foes. One of the worst enemies in all of Final Fantasy. Sick. Night of the Blinding Dawn. That's a pretty sick name. Oh, that thing was cool. I like that thing. It's like a weird bear with scales. Mesh! Thank god, I, I was thinking there might not be quick time events in this game. Wait, Sid was there and he did nothing? Oh my god, did they just... Wait, did he hit you with the Azuna drop or did you hit him? I didn't see. He will, of course, clash with the that was pretty sick. The power of the icons. Beasts who hold the surrounding lands under their sway. Sick. I like dragons. Dragons are cool. He's got like weird crystally dragon. Mysterious constructs of the fallen. A civilization shrouded in mystery. Interesting. The eleventh hour. What is this? Barnabas. This seems like a pretty late game enemy for them to be showing off, and honestly. Cannot forget the icons themselves. Experience oh, just fight. Just fight Ifrit. As Clive takes command of the iconic might coursing through his veins and shatters his very limits. Beat Ifrit in order to gain his power. The point of Final Fantasy 16, however, has to be the breathtaking icon versus icon battles. Wait, so if Ifr Ifrit's the icon of fire, what is the uh, Phoenix the icon of? These epic confrontations all play out in real time, allowing players to control. Because I mean, here's wind, Garuda, with their own hands.
Oh, I remember seeing this in that demo that they showed. It was These still pretty sick. Depending on the icon encountered, and every showdown is unique, right down to gameplay. Players will experience everything from a 3D scrolling shooter to a heavyweight wrestling match with devastating attacks that encompass the entire battlefield. These massive scale boss battles are entirely seamless and I can promise you heart-stopping, controller-gripping excitement. I can't wait for you to get your hands on the game for yourself. Wait, so Titan's just like a moderately normal sized dude? Oh no. Okay, never mind. For some reason, I thought you were Clive fighting Titan there. But if you could do it, then so could I! You've learned an ability! Sick. Oh, it's just Bahamut! There he is! How, how early into this is part of the game? Is this? No idea. But Bahamut's just flying around. Also, he looks very long and thin, which is not standard of Bahamut. Kind of an interesting design, honestly. God, every the more I see of this, the better and better this looks. Also, that's a really interesting Typhon. Because Typhon does not look like that. It's Mitz! How you doing, Mitz? I'm watching State of Play and having a really good time with FF16, because god this game, the more and more I see of it, the better it looks. How's your morning, Mitz? Doing anything fun? Wait, does that say Titan already lost? Come on now. You can't just reveal that in the trailer. Odin. I love this ending sizzle reel, because it's nothing but hype. In a game that looks like it's just going to live and breathe hype. So everyone, what did you and there's Yoshi P. You for taking the time to join us today. Final Fantasy 16 will be available worldwide on June 22nd. And there's hey! Thanks for the raid, Renyan! Battle content, side content, end game content. How, how was your stream? More. We hope to bring you more on these aspects of the game in the near future. Also, I'm truly excited to finally be able to reveal that Final Fantasy 16's main theme was written uh, and performed I'm by getting... one of Japan's mm -hmm. greatest recording artists, Kenshi Yonezu. We've oh, I don't know that guy. Uh, but my, uh, we're doing pretty good. We just, uh, I guess are getting to the end of the state of play, which was 20 minutes of them showing off FF16. And it looks really, really good. Thank you, Yoshi P. And I think that's, I think that's the one. Played RPG Maker, Midnight Train, talking a little about 16. Oh, yeah. Uh, did you get to watch any of the... Uh... I'm just going to turn this off. Did you get to watch any of the... The direct here? I'll probably... Silence that audio, too. 
Because uh, now it's about time for me to run into uh, 14. I'm just going to start doing my daily grind stuff now. But that was really cool. I really, really liked everything that I saw from there. Little, Yeah, the little bit at the end, which was just like this ending sizzle reel of your uh, icon stuff. Yeah, it's it look everything looks really good. It's a game that is so so after Devil May Cry. It it is attempting to be the most Devil May Cry game I've seen since Devil May Cry. They they straight up in the I I suppose no spoilers, but it's not that big of a deal. They they show a Virgil judgment cut. You just have a Virgil judgment cut at some point, which is amazing. Yeah, it that the game looks great. I was I mean, I'm not a huge Final Fantasy guy. I've played 7 and 14 and uh like I was kind of like, "Oh yeah, I know the the guys behind 14 are doing 16, so that that'll be cool, but like I'm actually really excited about the game now." <laughs> but like actually legit excited for the game. So yeah, very, very happy with everything that I saw there. And uh, yeah, so now I think we're going to move on to doing some, uh, oh, uh, like 7R with combat and it worked. Uh, so 7R is still has like a little bit of that turn based thing where, you know, you can only uh do like abilities on your little ATB timer. But uh this one, no, it's just all out. It's just completely uh completely uh real time combat. There's no like waiting on a thing to recharge, I don't think. Yes, it, it is way more swinging sword fun times. Because uh if I remember correctly, the the uh, combat designer for Devil May Cry 5 is the guy who did the combat for 16, which is great. It's just so, it's so weird how blatant they're taking, you know, DMC abilities and just slapping them into the game. It, it is kind of hilarious. But yeah, Yoshi P doing good work. There's a reason that he's in charge of all Final Fantasy now. So uh yeah. Good good shit. I am happy with what I saw, and I will not pre-order because I don't pre-order games because that's never a good idea. But I will buy it and play it day one. I will buy it like the night before so I can have it installed and play it. Probably play it on stream. start up 14 here just so that I remember to do that yeah the game looks so good though it's what is it June I forget what he said it's June something comes out in June we're not that far away now hopefully we get like one more trailer or something but yeah I am I I am sold on this game now I am I am one hundred percent in. And so I guess with that we will move on to uh doing my daily stuff for fourteen. And uh uh We have done got a dip, take care of Yeah, no problems. Have a nice rest of your day there, Renyan. And uh, you know, hopefully you have a good night. So uh yeah, so we'll move over to 14 now, and, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say goodbye to the YouTube archive, because I am locally recording all my stuff. So, uh, goodbye, YouTube! See you guys later. See ya when I actually have 14 started up. See ya. Bye! Bye!